for the sake of timing and good editing, you have to destroy continuity. Um, I remember the first time I ever did that, and it was on a scene in Healing Korea, and we've got four or five soldiers sitting around in a in a bomb hole, you know, in, in the front, and they're drinking tea and smoking cigarettes. Well, can you imagine the continuity in drinking tea and smoking cigarettes with five soldiers individually for... Uh, and grouped for a dialogue scene. They never put the thing up to their mouths at the same time or the cigarette at the same time, wherever you wanted to cut. There was always a difference in continuity. In the end, I ignored entirely the continuity, cut the whole thing together as it should have been, the right timing, the right um, shape to the whole sequence, and you never notice it. I defy anybody to see that. It's the timing of the sequence and the shaping of it that is important. Thunderball is a film renowned for so-called continuity errors. It is, in fact, a victim of its own success. Most of the editing tricks would not be noticed if fans had not watched this film over and over. That said, these should not be considered continuity errors as such, because in each case, Peter Hunt likely noticed the disparities and found a way to use the shots creatively. And that is the strength of a good editor.